Um, so I just want to start off uh, talking about the movie sort of overall, because it's such a heavy, historic story. And I'm wondering if there's ever a moment, a specific moment, maybe in pre-production or maybe in preparation, where the, the weight of it hit you, or you sort of felt the history of the entire mm -hmm. thing. There was a big moment for me. Um, <laughs> uh, you know when we, okay, so the scene where, the big, the big scene that my character has when I'm in the, the Eichmann house, mm -hmm. and I see uh, Klaus's father, you know, put him against the wall and he calls him father, and then I leave and then you run after me. So when we actually did film that scene, uh, afterwards when Joe comes up and he's like, I thought you were a, uh, and I'm like, I am. Mm -hmm. uh, we <laughs> remember how long we waited around till mm -hmm. they actually started filming, and I was kind of just like w pacing around, like trying to stay in the zone. And I like got to this place where I did feel like a weight. I felt like I don't know if this sounds crazy, but I felt like other spirits and souls from like 70 years ago. Like I don't know, and I I don't know. That sounds totally wacky, but I really did. I felt really connected to the. <laughs> The, the purpose of telling the story. So yeah, that was a cool feeling. And in telling the story, it, it requires you to really brush up with these, this awful imagery and, this, and the, the paraphernalia of that time. And I'm wondering if, if those, those very intense scenes sort of require a, a sort of detox once, once you, you, it says cut. Like, especially, well, I, think you, of you, I think of you hanging yeah. out the, the Nazi flag. I don't that. know if I could do that. It's a very intense moment. I'm wondering if, if you know, when the director says cut or hours afterwards, it requires like not not a cleansing, but it's just sort um, of a, a moment. I think the one that was maybe the, the most affecting uh, immediately after he said cut was, was maybe for me the rally. Uh, when, mm -hmm. when they all gather early on in the film at the right wing rally. Um, and just having a room of 100 people kind of screaming yeah. what they're screaming. And then you had to, re like my character obviously is like completely just shocked and like, you know, distraught by it. But, but <clears> you, <throat> the way you had to react, like, that's intense. Mm -hmm. I'm interviewing you now. <laughs> yeah, go on, go on. It's, it's going very well. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, as two uh, young actors in, in your careers, what did you take away from, from maybe just watching Ben Kingsley work or, or anything you took away from, from anything he told you, anything mm -hmm. you saw him do on set? What's the, what's the takeaway from working with such a, an established, iconic actor like Sir Ben Kingsley? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think he was just like, he was so focused all the time and in like the right mind space uh, and where other people would understandably be chatting in between takes and kind of um, mm -hmm. you know <laughs> exactly <Yeah>. um, <laughs> like doing their own thing he kind of just would sit in, his, sit in his own space and be thinking about what he wanted to do and try and stay in the right uh, the right zone and to kind of see him do that was pretty amazing I was very focused very very focused amazing